Recently I was driving my friend's Tesla and while my mate sat next to me, he's telling me about how all of a sudden Teslas are now a desirable thing for thieves all around the world. I'd actually thought like with all the cameras on the outside and inside and the way you can track your Tesla on the phone and through GPS, um, I just didn't see how this was viable. It wasn't until I got home and did some research on this that I actually realised, damn, this is actually really happening. Owners, meantime, can sleep a little easier tonight after Portland police took down a Tesla theft ring. The East Precinct stolen vehicle operation in conjunction with the district attorney's office thwarted and captured a theft ring targeting Tesla vehicles last night. Now, the criminals operating the ring had stolen multiple Teslas in the surrounding area and disabled the GPS in the cars. The operation led to the recovery of four Teslas, and police took two people into custody in connection with the case. So similar to conventional cars, you'll see a thief coming up to your house with like a relay device, which is like a wire to catch the signal from your keys, while another guy stood next to your car and it unlocks it. That is happening quite a lot. Now, I don't know the exact hacking methods, but once they've driven the car away, they somehow disable the GPS on a Tesla which I can't quite get my head around. Now obviously once they've got your Tesla, they're gonna either want to strip it down, use the car for other criminal activities, like ram raids and such and such. But there's even some talk about them actually sending these cars overseas to other countries and then being used there. I just didn't think this was even possible. I thought like an electric car was very similar to say like an iPhone, let's say, which once you blacklist it from the network, you can't make calls off it anymore. Or once you sign out of the phone, if you haven't got the password to get back in, it's essentially worth nothing. And the way I see it is an EV is just a computer with motors and wheels on it. So how is this even happening? Now, as I got deeper into my research, I found out that Nissan, Kia and Hyundai have the biggest thefts out of them all. Thousands and thousands a week, actually. Which in the grand scheme of things isn't too big, but when you're talking about EVs, it's massive. Now the reason for this is because there's been major exploits found in their operating systems. I don't think they update over the air like Teslas do. And Tesla did actually have this problem at first as well because back in the day, it was the Model S that had some major vulnerabilities. But I actually think it's really important that when we do make this big switch, which is slowly happening now, that we make cars unstealable. The amount of cars that are stolen at the moment to commit further crimes is exponentially on the rise. That in fact, that is one of the main reasons cars get stolen today. Things like chopping up expensive cars for you know their parts to be sold elsewhere, that's always kind of been a thing. And we also all know that some cars end up getting exported abroad. But regardless of the reason, one of the biggest expenses that insurance company has have to pay out for are not crashes the thefts. In my opinion, if car manufacturers actually put their money into the security side of things, the tracking and all that kind of stuff, maybe even the ability to disable your own vehicle. So it kind of like rocks my head a little bit because I don't understand why manufacturers, with it being so easy to do and implement now with these new vehicles, why they can't get it right. Yes, over the years, car manufacturers have been getting better with the security but it meant that the thieves just had to get a little bit more sophisticated. Rather than using half a tennis ball or a, a coat hanger to get into your car, they then had to come into your home, use a knife or a gun or a carjacker to get the vehicle. And that actually puts a lot more danger on the owner slash driver, right? Now with cars having facial recognition, literally being able to disable themselves if they don't see the driver in the seat, turn themselves off, slow the car down. They could literally even lock all the doors and drive any potential thieves to the police station. We could even have it where car theft becomes a thing of the past completely. And it's just cheaper for everybody because of insurance premiums and safer. Let's hope that happens soon. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Hope you take care and I'll see you in the next one.